cattle owners at Algo say they are ready to comply with the directives to evacuate their animals from Algo land. The hive pleaded for two additional days to enable them to evacuate their animals. About 200 police and military personnel were deployed at a Santiago Magogo yesterday to enforce a court ruling which ordered for the evacuation of cattle from Magogo. And the Agogo Divisional Police Commander who led the charge did not mince words, urging his men to be ruthless. Are the Fulanis better than us? No, Can they shoot better than us? No, Can they do the military and police job more than us? No, they say they are gorilla tactics, they are gorilla fighters, and they are going to ambush you and shoot you. Please, I beg you in the name of God. Nobody should die in the bush as a police or soldier or, uh, uh, or whatever. We are going back with our number and come back with our number. And to be safe, if you see anybody holding arms, want to attempt to you, please don't waste time. The Operation Cow Led Team is expected to have so far shot and killed over 100 cows in the area. One of the cattle owners at Agogo, Al Haji Adam Ahmed Madi, says most of his colleagues are ready to comply with the evacuation directives. They kill about almost 79 of my animals. Now the remaining ones with the babies are the ones we are trying appealing to them. They should just give us even if it's two days, three days, to move them from Agogo land. This is all what we are trying, begging the MP. He also pleaded with the security personnel to revise their decision to shoot and kill their cattle. People's cows they killed yesterday is over 200 and something. They kill them. And then those people are Ghanaian citizens basing here in Agogo. There has been a standoff between farmers and nomadic headsmen at Agogo over the destruction of farms by cattle over the past 25 years. The Kumasi High Court in 2012